One of the common symptoms of corneal disease is blurred vision, and, and oftentimes blurred vision is just the need for glasses or, or contact lenses, but when glasses or contact lenses can't correct the vision, then uh, one of the potential issues is a corneal problem, uh, such as keratoconus or what's called Fuchs dystrophy, which is swelling of the cornea. One of the common uh, vision symptoms of keratoconus, for example, is distorted vision, where you see tails or uh, glare off of lights uh, and uh, requires a, a contact lens or in some cases even surgery uh, to correct the vision. One of the common symptoms of swelling of the cornea is blurred vision that's worse in the morning, uh, where it looks like you're looking through a fog or a mist and then it clears up later on in the day. And those are uh, symptoms of, of corneal disease that can oftentimes be helped with surgical correction. So keratoconus is a uh, condition that causes warpage of the cornea and distorts the normal curvature of the cornea and makes it uh, very difficult to see uh, and blurs the vision. And we have some new procedures available to help strengthen the, the cornea, uh, namely corneal cross-linking which uh, is designed to strengthen the cornea so it doesn't bulge as easily and can actually, in some cases, uh, reverse the progression of keratoconus. Fuchs dystrophy is a condition that affects the inner layer of the cornea, which is a layer of cells that pumps water out of the cornea to keep the cornea clear. And people with Fuchs dystrophy lose those cells at a faster rate and eventually the cornea becomes swollen and cloudy and makes it difficult to see through. So nowadays we can transplant the inner layer of the cornea with a partial corneal transplant or endothelial keratoplasty, uh, which allows the patient to retain the remainder of their cornea um, and allows the healing to be much, much faster than it was in the past so that they regain uh, improved vision at a much faster rate.